At the time, and it may still hold the record, it was the heaviest thing that the shuttle ever launched. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But you need a heavy detector like that to stop the gamma rays, you know, to okay. detect them. Yeah. It's, it's in essence, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope is a particle detector. Okay. But it could also know what direction it's coming from. Right? That's right. Yeah. 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 So it, it detects when a photon comes in, and it's one photon at a gamma time. Gamma ray photon. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So one fo when the photon comes in, uh, where it came from as best as it can. You're counting one photon at a time? One at a time. That's insane. I, They're rare. You, this is the highest energy stuff. You need you need gotcha. something special to create it, and right. so yeah, they're pretty rare. So what will it do that the Compton Observatory couldn't do? Fermi was a great improvement on that localization, like figuring out what the direction was, mm -hmm. uh, so it could pinpoint the direction of the gamma ray much better. That was really important because I think there, there's whole generations of detectors where they just detect something, mm -hmm. right? And with no information as to where it came from, it just yeah. detects it, right? Right. And it was even worse with, with, with Compton because the you, you would really like to say, oh, we detected a gamma ray from this crazy source. But you couldn't quite pinpoint, did it really come from that crazy source or not? Your uncertainty circle was huge. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So now you're doing a little better. Oh, a lot better. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, a fraction of a degree. 